Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been playing with different navbar styles. We've been sort of doing decorations and underlines and images and gradients. What we'll do today is how about making our, our navbar transparent so we can see this nice image behind it. Kind of like I've got here. Uh, it sort of showcases the image. Of course, when you scroll down, it's going to get lost in the image unless you have it uh, a color appear. And as you can see, when we scroll down, I've got a, a white color appearing there so you can see the menu perfectly. And then when you back up to the main image, the hero image at the top, it disappears. And you've got this nice full screen image. Really easy to do with the Divi theme. So let's get started. Here's what we've got at the moment, which is just a regular default nav bar. I have done a bit of decoration to the menu there. If you want to learn how to do that, check out that video. Divi is an absolutely awesome theme, just keeps getting better and better with more and more features. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, let's get started. I'll close that window out, we don't need it. Go to our dashboard and let's go down to Divi and now to our theme customizer. Once we've got the customizer open, let's go to header and navigation because that's where all our sort of header and navbar stuff is. And I'm going to go up to the primary menu bar. This is our primary menu bar. We've got nothing set, set for the secondary. Secondary actually sits on top of the primary there when we've got uh, anything to put in there, but in this case we don't. So I'm going to hit primary menu bar going to slide down a bit down here we've got background color at the moment it's set to white let's take that opacity slider down on the right hand side all the way to the bottom that way it's going to be totally see-through and there we go as we scroll down you can see it's still totally see-through it kind of gets lost in the you know with the content of the page so when it scrolls we really want to put a background in there and that's really easy to do also so what we'll go back up to the top arrow back and we'll go down to fixed navigation settings now here's our primary menu again here's our primary menu background color and let's set this to something like white at the moment it's set to opaque so if I pull that back up, that's white now. Let's publish our changes. I'll do a quick refresh and this should actually work now. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our transparent nav bar at the top. And when we start scrolling down, it turns white. Obviously you don't have to have white and you don't have to have it all the way fully visible you can have it semi-transparent just to make it stand out a bit let's do that header and navigation and the one when we're scrolling that's our fixed navigation settings because the nav bar is fixed to the top there let's go back in here let's take the opacity down something like that so we can still see things through it but you can still see, see the writing easily that way it's sort of there over the top of everything but you still got some of the image work going behind of course that's a taste issue and that's entirely up to you how you want to do that so let's publish that let's go back to our old page here's what we had originally and let's refresh there we have it and we've got that sort of semi-transparent white bit coming through when we start scrolling down the screen so there you have it, it's really easy with the Divi theme. What we'll do in the next one is we'll go to a different page and we'll show you how to have different colored backgrounds on the nav bar on different pages. Because at the moment you might want this on this page, but perhaps if you go to a different page, well, it works there as well, almost. <laughs> that doesn't look too good. You might decide that you want to have a colored background on that one. So we'll do that in the next video. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. 
If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.